Good evening, mademoiselle. I am your maitre d'. My name is Jean-Louis Francois, but you can call me Louis. James, if you are able, show these ladies to their table. Our special guests have just arrived, so don't you move a muscle. Oscar Hammerstein, how do you do? Diamond Jim Brady, how are you? And the incomparable Miss Lillian Russell. Enchanté. We have a special table reserved for the rich and chic. You are paid to serve in silence. We are back in a half a week. <laughs> My good man, here's a little tip. A trademark, you might say. A 24 karat blue white stone direct from Cartier. Why, thank you, Mr. Brady. Don't mention it, monsieur. Oh, James, you are so generous. Uh, too generous, if you ask me. Just one of those stones could back the moon, or even Rosemary. Oh, Oscar, you're so witty. Every word's a Broadway smash. And by the way, if your show needs backing, I've got scats of cash. I know. You know? We know. Oh, splendid. It's true, striking oil can bring quick compensation, but diamonds are a man's best friend. What's more, stocks and bonds bring you remuneration Good for lots of cash, uh -huh, but watch out for that market crash And steer, I fear, I must steer clear And for land, not one cent would I spend But square cut or pear shape, those rocks don't lose their shape Diamonds, invest in those diamonds The best of those diamonds are gentlemen James Buchanan, Brady's very best Diamond Jim, we, we know. know. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jean Louis, we're having a first rate evening. A tiara of a time. I am so pleased. And I have ordered something special tonight in honor of Miss Russell's debut at the Winter Garden. Oh, thank you, Jean Louis. But let's talk about you. How does uh, New York compare to your native Paris? Ah, Paris. <laughs> But then again, New York. In old New York, in old New York, such mademoiselles divine. They're sweet and fair, and on the square, the maids of Manhattan for mine. You cannot see in gay Paris, in London or in Cork, the girls you meet on air. Jean-Louis, bien sûr, Monsieur Hammerstein. And now, if I may be so bold, I suggest the evening would not be complete without a song from the great Miss Lillian Russell. Oh, here, here, here. Well, if you insist. She's a She seems to be Tis sad when you think Of her wasted life For youth cannot dwell With it And her beauty was sold For a purse full of gold She's a bird In a gilded cage Miss Russell, magnifique. Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful as always. Thank you. James, serve our guest while I take care of the second course. Excusez-moi. Yeah.
Young man, how many times must I tell you? Back to work. I do apologize. Charming entertainment, Louis, but uh, I'm afraid he rather spoiled our appetite. <laughs> I heard that. How dare you insult my cuisine? I don't know who you think you are, but you're not so special. What's more, you wouldn't say that if my daddy were here. <laughs> Hit it. You people sit at dinner in this elegant cafe, not dining but complaining in your stuck-up sort of way. I slave creating magic from the sea's most luscious food. You speak to me familiarly in manner rather rude. I've come to this great city to find my father dear. And you wouldn't dare insult me, sir, if Dad were only here. Now, 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 my man, this is no time to be unhappy. Oh, why not? Because I have a hit show on Broadway. And my name is in lights. And this is 1890. <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> Very, very rich. And mostly because all of New York is in love. Oh, well, in that case, may I have the next waltz? Avec plaisir. Something. What? I've been uh, seriously thinking about growing a mustache. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't you grow one outside in the backyard where the rest of us don't have to look at it? <laughs> you know something? What? I'm very sorry you said that. Oh, that's too bad. Because I have a gift for you from the last of the big time spenders. <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. well, that's sweet of you, Donnie. What is it? A diamond pin. A diamond pin? Yeah. A diamond pin. A diamond pin. Uh -huh. Thank you, Dottie. That's your idea of a, of a lavish gift from Diamond Jim Brady? That is correct. Oh. Say goodnight, Marie. Okay. <laughs> but first, I'd like to thank our guests, Engelbert Humperdinck, Paul Lynn, Parker Stevenson, our brother Jimmy, and our own Ice Angels. But most of all, we'd like to thank you for sharing this evening with us. May tomorrow Keep you in his tender care Till he brings us together again Good night, Good night everybody!
Also appearing on tonight's show was Johnny Dark and Jack DeLeon. This is Wayne Osmond speaking.